I've been the co-president of the movement to address anti-Semitism at Tulane since January of 2023. Uh, and the movement was sparked more specifically by a student who published an article after Kanye West's rampage of tweets um, that was titled, Ye was right about the Jews. And she basically just went on this rant equating Jews with Nazis and praising Hitler. Um, and that's when me and two of my peers came together to found the movement, which at the time was keenly focused on implementing mandatory anti-Semitism education and training in Tulane's DEI initiatives and programming, which covers a lot of other groups um, and other types of bias and discrimination. So our work began there. We worked on that for seven months. And then, as I mentioned, um, after October 7th, things on campus really, really um, took a turn for the worst. On October 26th, there was a specifically violent rally on campus for Palestine where several students were physically assaulted, including my friend um, Dylan, who was hit so many times in the face by a megaphone that he was hospitalized and broke several bones in his face. Um, so things really changed then and our movement kind of expanded to fight for more broader protections for Jewish students and for physical safety um, and, you know, to fight BDS and a lot of the other things that were affecting our campus. Um, we, you know, moved forward in December, got the attention of some donors, and they signed on to some of our initiatives, specifically three things that we wanted to bring to the administration. So two days before that meeting with the president and provost of Tulane, I collected this data from 300 mm -hmm. students, along with a ton of personal testimony that proved how deep-seated the anti-Semitism on campus really was and how much it was affecting students. The, the president and provost actually accept, accepted our proposal, um, which is super exciting. And um, they agreed through a university-wide email to implement a lot of what we suggested. However, unfortunately, um, that process has been slow moving and we've not seen a ton of progress toward that, but just getting a commitment from the university has been great. Um, and we actually just recently collected another round of data and we're still, you know, continuing to collect more from students. But I think collecting data has proven to be a really effective way to come to university administrations and be more than just one person. When I brought data from 300 students, mm -hmm. I think that it was as if, you know, I was speaking to represent 300 students who so badly wanted the proposal that I was suggesting to be implemented. Um, and so I think it's a really powerful way to show numbers, um, to bring a lot of experiences to a person at one time. But truthfully, I think that my work has really shown, um, you know, how complex and difficult it can be to work with these university administrators. And frankly, that a lot of them are just purely anti-Semitic and really subscribe to a lot of, you know, the typical anti-Semitic tropes that we're seeing now and personally support Palestine. Um, and so I think that, you know, it's been an incredible like journey, just trying to kind of learn and understand. And I really hope that I can continue connecting with students. Um, I've appointed successors at Tulane, but I'd love to continue connecting with students at other schools, which I've been doing to kind of help give insight about how these administrators respond to certain asks and react in certain situations. Because I think we really need to kind of gear ourselves up for how difficult this fight is really going to continue to be.